Todd Simpson bowled Benno. Benno's now taken five for 53. The big names of sport come and go, but nothing could prepare the cricket world for the loss of a Penrith-born icon. And Australia now must win at the Oval if they're to retain the Ashes. News broke of the passing of cricket legend Richie Benoit on April 10 in Sydney, aged 84. One of the more tense situations I've ever come across in watching cricket. The former captain retired in 1964 and became famous for his cricket commentary in Australia, the UK and Sri Lanka. Richie Benoit was an inspiration to young cricketers around the world. And that's it. In the winning runs. Former Australian Prime Minister John Howard has closely watched the career of Richie Bonneau unfold on the field in person since 1952. I extend uh, to his widow Daphne and the other members of his family my profound sympathies and we thank him for everything he's done for the great game of cricket and everything he's done uh, in the process for sports lovers around the world. The positive commentary of Richie Bonneau has phrases that were out of this world and purely memorable. 76 overs, 2 for 2, 2, 2. A perfect afternoon here. Now what would people from Mars think if they were to land here and see that happening on your television screen? Richie Bonneau was smooth, suave and sophisticated and was high in demand for product endorsements. In the early years, Richie was the cream of the crop and asked to do television commercials for shaving cream. Shave lotion refreshes for the day ahead. Men on the go, like Richie Benno, use Smooth X. Best shaving break I've ever had. One commercial Richie didn't knock back was the one to promote the game of cricket for Australia Day. In January 2015, Mr Benno used his sense of humour to invite historical figure Captain Cook to a barbecue at his house to watch a game that he loved. Richie. Cookie, where are you? Uh, don't know. What's up? Can you make an Australia Day barbie at my place? Bit of cricket, couple of lamb chops. You in? Yeah, all right. The posing views with Jeffrey Boycott was sometimes taken seriously, and Richie always found the funny side on the BBC Radio 5 last century in 1999. My name is Richie Benno. I used to work for the BBC. I didn't like Jeffrey Boycott and I don't think he liked me. Richie Bonneau took a positive approach to his commentary and vowed to keep the spirit of cricket at heart. One underarm bowling incident in 1981 sent Richie's emotions high after a one-day international between Australia and New Zealand. Everyone around Australia will have their uh, own ideas on that and uh, we always get letters and phone calls about different things that happen so I don't expect anyone to agree with me. To stop New Zealand from having any chance of scoring the six they needed to draw the game, the Australian captain Greg Chappell instructed his bowler and younger brother Trevor Chappell to deliver the last ball, underarm, along the ground. I don't expect uh, that you'll get more than 50% agreement on anything. This action was legal at the time, but Benoit was keen to share his opinion. Let me just tell you what I think about it. I think it was a disgraceful performance from a captain who got his sums wrong today and I think it should never be permitted to happen again. We keep reading and hearing that the players are under a lot of pressure and that they're tired and jaded and perhaps their judgment and their skill is blunted. Well, uh, perhaps they might advance that as an excuse for what happened out there today. Not with me, they don't. I think it was a very poor performance. One of the worst things I have ever seen done on a cricket field. One of the worst things I have ever seen done on a cricket field. And then, uh... Now to bowl to Subarrow, who wants one for his 50. He's been bowled. Subarrow bowled by the last ball of 40. As we look back on the career of Richie Bonneau, the old showreels never grow old. Team bowled. Australia have won and they've kept the ashes. A private funeral was held for Richie Bonneau on April 15 in Sydney attended by a few former cricketers, family and friends. I thank you all very much indeed. It is a privilege and an honour. An innings of 84 but not out of our hearts and minds. Darren McElane reporting for Radio 16 Newcastle.